The iPhone 6 was released on 2014. It was a big change from the last year's 5S both in the aspect of form factor and design. With that, it also brings in the infamous Apple Bend Gate. Hey everyone, Pradeep here from TGT and welcome to another video. So why talk about iPhone 6 in 2021 when we are just 3 months away from the latest iPhone 12 S series? Well, there is a specific reason behind that. iPhone 6 was released at a time when people were moving away from smaller display mobile devices to larger ones. All Apple's competitors had larger display devices and Apple needed to make a breakthrough. As a result, from the previous year's 5S, almost everything changed on iPhone 6. The display became larger, the sides became rounded and the power button moved to the side. This design language continued till iPhone 11 with iPhone 12 switched back to the square shape design. It also brings in the plus models which eventually became the Pro Max models later. It had a 4.7 inch IPS LCD display powered by Apple A8 chip, 1 GB of RAM. The plus models have larger 5.5 inch displays. It has a 1.2 megapixel front camera with f2.2 aperture and the selfie quality is definitely questionable in today's standard. It also has a first generation Touch ID enabled home button at the bottom. The back cam is 8 megapixel with f2.2 aperture and is capable of shooting full HD videos at 60 frames per second. But the biggest controversy about the iPhone 6 series was the bend gate, especially for the plus models. After the release, people from all over the world started reporting that their iPhone is bending while kept in the pocket and without putting any substantial pressure. Some even went a step further and started bending iPhones in front of the live camera. The situation became so critical that Apple was forced to change some of those bent iPhones for free. Though Apple didn't admit the issue that time, but but the material composition of the next year's iPhone 6s was changed substantially and it was much more rigid than iPhone 6. But even after all these, iPhone 6 still holds a special place for iPhone users as it introduced the biggest design change in an iPhone. Software-wise, iPhone 6 support ended with iOS 12. It was released with iOS 8, thus it became one of those rare iPhones receiving only 4 iOS updates. But even today, iPhone 6 receives latest security update for iOS 12 with iOS 12.5.4 released just weeks ago, which is a really nice thing. With iOS 12, iPhone 6 still supports almost all present-day apps. The third-party apps runs alright, but the biggest challenge is, of course, the 1 GB of RAM. Some of the payment apps also encounter issues, but overall the device runs smooth and is pretty much usable even today. Another problem with iPhone 6 is of course the battery life. With the latest apps becoming more resource hungry, iPhone 6 battery might struggle to see off a working day for a moderate to heavy user. No need to mention that gaming is not that great on iPhone 6 either. With iPhone 6, the AirPods works fine but the latest generation AirPods Pro works with limited functionality. If you are interested about the benchmark score, here are the Geekbench 5 scores for iPhone 6 with iOS 12.5. It's 327 for the single core and 614 for the multi core, which is okay for a device this old. Now, the question is why are we talking about the iPhone 6 today and why Apple is still providing security updates to iOS 12? Now, have a look at this graph. This shows the iPhone model's usage data from the third quarter of 2020, that is last year. Can you see the iPhone 6 position? right above there. It's above the 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. So even in 2021, we might have a lot of iPhone 6 users around the world. That is why iPhone 6 still holds an important position in Apple's product lineup. In fact, Apple tried so hard to move those iPhone 6 and of course 6s users that Apple released a second generation of iPhone SE model last year with the same design and form factor but with latest and updated hardware and software support. So that is the discussion so far for iPhone 6 in 2021. I always bring in all the iOS version release videos for iPhone 6 and will keep on doing that. So don't forget to subscribe to TGT. Thank you for watching till the end. Do like and share this with your friends and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.